So at this point, we have all the metal we need, the tubing is looking great, and we can move forward with the fabrication. And that's not a lie. Tubing does look really good. Like, really, really good. It looks really good. Why does it look so good? So the tubing we have now is not the tubing we started out with. Uh, to be fair, we were at a junkyard where nothing was labeled, and what we thought was tubing was actually pipe. And it was explained to us that pipe can be irregularly manufactured. So we quickly discovered that it would not fit into the blocks of our tubing bender because of that irregularity. And we were shit out of luck. So now that we got the clean metal, we can dive in and actually start bending our tubing. And we started with the side rails, right? Yeah, once we get the side rails done, we can get the front and the back welded together and we have go-kart frame. Little tip here, make sure you have an angle finder. That's one thing that was totally priceless to us. It helped us make sure that we were on the same plane every time. And if our bends were a little off front to back, we could cut down the tubing. But if your plane is off a few degrees, you're gonna have a crooked go-kart. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I, uh, it's a tiny bit off, but maybe a half a degree. I, we didn't screw it up. That's what the best part about this is. I'm pretty excited about this. We actually just pulled the second piece out and they match. I'm stoked because this means we have all the extra tubing for messing up other parts if we do. But if you guys can see here, both our bends line up, edges meet up. So now we can chop these down, figure out our overall length and then put in some cross sections here and we're good to roll. Let's be very clear here that we're building a go-kart for us. We never claim to be a pro fabricator. So if you guys do see something that you know you might not do, Drop a line in the comments. Tell us what you think, because we're only gonna learn from here, so. Yeah, give us the feedback. Let's have it. One thing we learned while doing this is how to properly notch tubing. Fortunately, we didn't really do it properly the first time. No, we definitely, uh... We were smart enough to leave a little extra room on all of our bends while we're fabricating so that we can basically trim the fit. Um, we were using the notcher to not only notch, but also trim. Really, we should have actually just cut the excess off with a saw of some sort and then gone back and you know only had about a half an inch or so and, and then notched that off. Yeah. That might have gave us some cleaner notches. As opposed to punching out a whole full circle in a piece of tubing, yeah. we should have went more for like a half moon. So, you live and you learn. Like yeah. I said, this is something that we're figuring out. I'm sure somebody's gonna call us out on this, but call us out in the comments. So since we had all this extra pipe that we got from the junkyard that we couldn't use, we wanted to make sure that we used it for something. So every time we have a cross member and we have a ton, we'll show you guys throughout the series, we just use that tubing, that pipe. Anything that's gonna be straight. Yeah, that way we didn't have to bend it and it still worked. It still welded fun. Yeah, we probably have enough. We do have enough for another go-kart. Square go-kart. So our end goal here 
is to have two 90s, and this will mount directly to the front of the go-kart there, and we'll just notch out these ends and then weld it on up. And that'll be our kind of our front support brace bracket. So as you can see with the nose, we're pretty much rolling with it. Um, as far as design, we weren't working off plans or anything. We kind of had a general sketch and idea of what we wanted to do. Um, so that's the one nice part about being able to fumble up and kind of screw up. You can just roll with the punches. Um, Which we did. Yeah, like that nose is a perfect example. Um, we had one idea, it didn't work, but we just rolled with it, created more of a tapered in nose. No harm, no foul, no material wasted. So after we bent that nose to 90 degrees and kind of figured out it wasn't going to work, all we did was throw it in the vise and just use the leverage to bend it out a little bit. I mean, the angles were straight. Yeah, fairly crude, but it worked. Um, that's one thing you learn. Do whatever it takes. So as we actually started kind of fabbing it up and locking things in place and welding, um, we actually have a fab table in the studio and it didn't occur to us to use it. So we're just trying our best to kind of use it on just a flat table to weld stuff. And all considering it, again, turned out pretty good. So if you guys have a fab table, be sure to use it. Uh, we didn't and again, got lucky. All of our lines of the go-kart Seemed to line up pretty straight in the end, and you know, all four wheels are on the ground. Yeah, it's somewhat square. Yeah. Moving forward to episode three is where we really kind of dove into some of the more uh, important fabrication. Yeah, so steering, axle, a whole bunch of weird angles you got to figure out with steering, apparently. I just thought you welded stuff on and put tires on it. Apparently, it's not No, it Cody informed us that was not the case. Yeah. So we're gonna show you that. If you aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, go do that. We want you to get all the notifications when each episode is released. Also, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook, post some behind the scenes stuff. Sounds about right. We'll see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>